This video is going to be about enzymes. So enzymes are going to be proteins that speed up the rate of a chemical reaction without ever being consumed by the reaction. However, something important to remember about enzymes is enzymes are not going to uh, influence whether or not a reaction will take place. So it can't make an endergonic reaction become exergonic, and it can't make an exergonic reaction become endergonic. So all enzymes are able to do is they're able to speed up chemical reactions that would have taken place anyways, but with an enzyme, they can speed it up and make it happen at a rate that's actually useful for ourselves. So now looking at how enzymes do this. So enzymes, the, the main way that they function is by lowering the energy of activation for a reaction. So our energy of activation is going to be the amount of energy that's required for a reaction to actually get started. And so we have our free energy diagram right here for uh, a reaction. And so how you read this is right here is where we're starting with the free energy of our reactants. It'll go up to the transition state, which is right here at the peak, where you're gonna have the most free energy, and then it'll fall down to our products, which have a lower free energy than our reactants in this case. And so on a graph like this, the energy of activation is going to be this amount of energy right here. And so this is what's actually making that barrier to this reaction going forward. So enzymes are going to make this smaller so this reaction can happen faster. And the way it does that is through um, using its active site in a model called the induced fit model. So your substrate will bind to your enzyme on the active site, which is where this reaction actually takes place. And so what happens is when it binds, the enzyme is going to change its shape to make it fit more tightly around that substrate. And that's the uh, induced fit model, is saying that the active site will change shape to make that fit uh, better. And so when it makes that fit uh, really tightly, now the enzyme can start manipulating this uh, substrate to bring it closer to our transition state. And so since the enzyme is doing that for us, we don't need as much energy to be able to do that. So when we have uh, an enzyme, our reaction diagram changes to look like this. So your reactants and products stay the same, they end in the same places, but what changes is our energy of activation. So when we have an enzyme, our energy of activation is smaller, and so it can let this whole reaction happen faster because it doesn't need as much energy anymore. So just to review, enzymes speed up the rate of a chemical reaction by bringing the reactants closer to the transition state, which means that we need less energy of activation to be able to get the reactants to that uh, transition state. And it does that by uh, the induced fit model. So the substrate will fit very tightly into the active side of the enzyme, and the enzyme will manipulate it to help this reaction go forward. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.